Stayallday.com. And we're going to get into the jump stop pivoting move. Now, me personally, I was always taught in basketball that once you do a jump stop, you land on those two feet, you can't move your feet again. But what I learned, some new information I got when I was working with an actual FIBA coach who coaches in Spain he's from Argentina, he said, when you do a move like this, actually another guy also from Slovakia said, when you do a move, a jump stop, as long as you land with both feet down at the exact same time, you can pivot afterwards. Now, if you do a jump stop and your feet land kind of staggered one foot before the other a little bit, you can't, you cannot pivot after. So here I'm just giving you some examples out of the post here. Off the in and out, that jump stop, you can turn, ball fake, pass fake, shot fake, same thing, back through dribble, step through, step around, you can pirouette kind of around, away from the basket, or you can pivot in towards the basket. You see how I'm doing a kind of reverse pivot right there. Just make sure when you do this pivot move, you do have to keep that pivot foot, whichever foot that happens to be. Notice how the toes of that right foot stayed down, even though I was spinning on the foot. The toes of the foot kept contact with the floor, which makes it legal. So once you do a jump stop, you land on both feet and you pivot, you still got to keep that pivot foot down to make sure that the move is legal. So jump stop, you can go away from the basket as I do here. You notice how I turn that right foot all the way around out of that's a, a turn would be 360 degrees so that would be 270 degrees my math is right here all the way around to the other side of that foot kind of from like the 12 hand to the 9 hand on the clock so if I put a little bit more speed into it you see I'm pivoting around raising up and taking that shot so even if you don't turn all the way you can turn kind of in the air if you had athleticism and body control same thing pivoting the other way left foot goes around finishing the shot with the left hand and all these examples you see of course are adjustable to your personal situation you don't have to play the game exactly the same way you see somebody else playing it and what you do in your practice and or games is not going to be exactly the same as what somebody else does everything must be adjusted to fit your personal situation now if you look at players on basketball lebron james is a guy he lives off doing this jump stop pivoting move Derek rose is another guy kobe also they jump stop, and once they get the defense to react off that jump stop, they pivot. And honestly, this move makes it very difficult to guard players, especially a quick, athletic, offensive player, players who draw a lot of fouls, and players who are really strong, like a LeBron, an athletic guy like Rose, crafty guys like Kobe, or guys who combine all three. Because once they've done that jump stop and completely stop, they still have a, basically an option to take another step with that pivot foot stand down, of course. And when you jump, notice that I'm jumping off both feet at the same time. I'm not jumping off the other foot. Now, I've seen some players do it where they do the jump stop and they jump off the foot that is moving, the moving leg. I don't see that as legal. I, haven't, I didn't ask about that when I was doing it. When you jump, you jump off both feet at the same time. You jump off one foot. I see that as a traveling violation, but maybe some players will get away with it. Will you? You can try it and see what happens. Thumbs up to like this tutorial. You got questions, leave a comment. Work on your game. Work on your game.